Welcome to Pass 2 AM with Quackalope. Today we're bringing you a gameplay of War for Chicken Island by Draco Studios. Now, this is a game that I backed way back in the day, not only because it's bird related, but also because it has some of the most adorable and creative miniatures that I've ever seen in a board game. This is a smash and grab, run up against your opponent, do your best to use your resources to build an army full of mechanized chicken monstrosities and slowly tear your opponent's leader apart. The first person to two defeats is going to be the winner. Hello, I am Wes Todd the Mingo, here to play an awesome game. War for Chicken Island is an exceptionally great take that game. I'm excited to try it at two players against Jesse, who we all know is a giant chicken. Wes Todd! Jesse You're Anderson. going down. To get the medal for winning? No, I'm, abs I'm absolutely gonna destroy you. I don't I'm, know that you are. I'm going to really? annihilate you. I'm playing the Roastinator C800. West. Yes. I've got range. Mm -hmm. When the C800 attacks a leader, I get plus three strength until the end of combat. Yeah. And I start off powerful as it is. Yeah, I think so your, there's this is a slightly overpowered. Absolutely animal. no way that you're destroying me. Now you do consume other chickens that are around you. I do, because I am Mega Death and I destroy any adjacent chicken that is and any chicken that's destroyed in this yeah. way, I actually gain their strength. I you're can eat it. A little violent, a little volatile. I'm a chicken. That's a what little they are. furry. And also Feather. we're playing this game. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. I'm definitely a little furry these days. Yeah. Yeah. If you like the beard, leave a comment down below. Yeah, if you think I should dye this gray stuff, well, you know, like yeah, so strong. much more coming through. I feel like some Just For Men would do me good, but you know. Hey, or if you like him you looking like a grandfather, let us know that as well. Ooh. <laughs> just hit it right, at, right home on that one. <laughs> yeah, oh, this is very vain. Let's so go ahead vain. and start playing this game. All right, that's good. Okay, so uh, we're going to do the setup on board because I think it's very unique. Yeah. So each of us gets to choose one of these. You won the more cowardly contest. I'm so cowardly, I wear socks all the time. It's not because my feet are cold. It's because I'm terrified of the monsters that live below the floorboards. I am so cowardly that I refuse to watch scary movies during the evening with the lights off, even though I'm 43. I'm so cowardly, my hairline's receding out of sheer fear for my face. Uh, so you, you get to choose one of these. This does not necessarily mean it's going to be your base, just for the record. We're setting up two different islands to use, and you have to have, um, it has to touch two different spaces on the uh, lava oh, that's out there. Okay. The lava is a center concept. Yep. Very good. Okay, and so now I have to also touch two sides, and I also have to touch two sides on yours. Mm -hmm. uh, which leaves me with slightly less pieces to play with. Not entirely, I though. could potentially do... Nope, not that. Okay. My spatial recognition is clearly poor. Uh, I could do this. Mm -hmm. And that would give us a very interesting battle royale, sort of speak. The War for Chicken Island is a unique game in that you actually get to set the map every single time and it will be unique in theory based upon the number of people playing and the types of tiles that you choose. Uh, there are six different base tiles that you will choose to set around the map. One of the fun things about it is that there are these lava tiles that throughout the game can flip from their lava side, i.e. their active side, to their dormant side, which we could basically walk across because we all know chickens aren't that heavy. Uh, but they could magically, because of forces of nature, flip over to their violent side and drop us in the lava, which makes great KFC. Okay, my, my pull? Yep, so now that's that. <coughs> These all go away. And now you're gonna put down a, uh, you're gonna put down a, your base, a mm -hmm. base, and it has to touch two spots on one of the items, one of the land areas. I like the grassy knoll. Mm -hmm. And then I will also put one over here. Fantastic. Okay. And now we put down, uh, basically to fill holes, you'll put these on. So on the black side, uh, you can put it down anywhere you want. Mm -hmm. Do I give myself... I These make you kind of vulnerable in a way. They do. Because when they flip, they'll destroy things. Mm -hmm. I think I'm gonna make that kind of a more. No, I'm gonna I'm gonna put a pathway there. So encircling it, but it could be risky. It could be risky. Could be risky. 
I like Risk. So I'm gonna put one here. Okay. Now, you can choose either one. This could be yours, yeah. this could be mine. No, I'm going Grassy Knoll. You're going Grassy Knoll, okay. You knew that from the beginning. I right? did, yeah. I'm a Grassy Knoll type of man. You're gassy, all right. <laughs> uh, now we're each gonna get three scrolls to start. And make sure you don't have any of the ones with the pretty colors on them. Except blue is fine. The yeah. Okay, so we have a few different things that have been set out ready for us to start building it. We have a metal soldier. We have a wooden soldier. These are both stackable units. We have a spiked battle car, which mm -hmm. I love. And we have a regular little tower, which is nice once you just want to set up defenses against your uh, mm -hmm. opponent. Absolutely. And it also could be a way to block off people coming at you. Now, am I going first? Have, I, have we determined who's yeah. the most cowardly? I believe uh, we did talk about it ahead of time, mm -hmm. and I think you won okay. with your cowardice. Yeah. You're, it's you're, uh, in a rough season. Yeah, your your hairline wins that one. My, All right. The gray is just running away from my face, so. Rolling my dice. During your turn, you're going to have a free action in which you can build, move, retrieve, or fight. The other thing that you get to do on your turn, besides your free action, is use your dice. Now, there are various things that you're able to do with your dice. Um, there is a free move or attack action. Uh, there's a free retrieve action. And then there are uh, an augmenting your particular character action. So you can give them plus one to their attack for the entirety of that machine's life, uh, or you can give them a temporary bonus of plus two or plus three during fighting. The other option is that there are some star actions, and the more stars you have, the more powerful that action can become. So it could be something as simple as just shuffling the current machines in front of you, all the way up to uh, removing an opponent's uh, humiliation tag from your banner, so giving you basically an extra life if you're so lucky to Yahtzee that one out. I have... A sword modifier. Mm -hmm. I have a lot of resource collecting a chickens. A lot of resource collecting chickens. I have a star. I need to go ahead and look through these cards real quick because mm -hmm. I need to make sure that I don't want to cycle any of them because that star will actually allow me to draw and get rid of a card. Uh, one star allows you to shuffle the machine deck. So it two or one star draw also scroll. could That's draw true. a scroll. Yep. You're right. My core strategy going into this game is going to be scroll cards. I mean, these cards are incredibly powerful. They let you manipulate your attack and defense stats. They give you extra little bonuses that screw with the ability to, well, wreak havoc on your opponent. For instance, I can take a weaker unit, buff them up, and then have them explode in the face of my opponent, causing them to be destroyed. There's a lot of good things in there. Now, the scroll cards also will be manipulating potentially the environmental factors and the lava pools, which means I need to avoid those at all costs because I'm gonna get as many scroll cards as chickenly possible. I think that's how the phrase goes. Interesting. That's kind of fun. Mm -hmm. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and start though with a construct action. Okay. I'm going to be spending two wood Great. and a metal. Wonderful. To go ahead and whoop, a chicken down right here. Yeah. And build a battle car. So nice. So I have a battalion. Okay. I'm gonna add a little chicken figure here to the artwork so that I can note how many chickens I have left. Well, fabulous. There's a wood golem <coughs> now available. Ooh, the wood golem is very nice. Yes. He's he gonna is. be this guy here. He's actually one of my favorite miniatures as well. I agree. It's a very nice looking miniature. Okay. And with that, I am then going to spend two of these dice to go ahead and collect the resources back. I'd rather you not have access to those. Mm. Uh, you'll see a little bit less resource trading when it comes to the two-player version of this game. For sure. Uh, higher player counts, oftentimes you'll have more things that you're like crafting and creating, and you'll have more things that, that end up dunked here in the resource pool. Yep. Um, I am going to go ahead and spend this die to add plus one general status. Okay. And that is going to be the end of my turn. All right, I'm choosing to reroll, apparently, poorly. Man overboard. Oh, there we go. That's what I wanted. Okay, extra ones there. Yeah. Fabulous. And I've got some resource collection here. So uh, we have a free action, and then we can use dice to do other things, and I don't really have good things to do. So the first thing I'm going to do is pay two stars to just grab a free scroll, mm -hmm. because they're awesome. It's pretty good. My strategy going to this game is to amass a good army first, band as many together as I possibly can, and then move en masse in a giant clucking pile towards Jesse and then utterly defeat him in quick succession. Uh, the 
main thing I have to focus on is getting as many scrolls as possible so that I can make sure that my abilities will be at their peak performance so that I can win. It's all about primed attacking at the right moment because if you attack too early then you'll lose but if you attack too late then he'll be too strong. So it has to be at the perfect moment and I think grabbing scroll cards and banding as many of my chickens together as possible will be my path to victory. I love it. Okay, uh, now for my free action, I'm gonna go ahead and build the wood golem here, which is fabulous. So three pieces of wood and one chicken. Two chickens. Oh, two chickens, that's also fine. I have plenty to spare. The right and left leg both have to have a chicken to operate. That makes sense. Uh, and Doesn't then, it, it does. I think the problem is that they only operate the legs, they mm. don't actually operate any of the arms. So mm. the, the golem just kind of does this. Oh no. <laughs> it was effective. <laughs> um, catastrophic damage. Catastrophic damage, yes. So I'm gonna pick up also with my two yeah. to grab these wood. Yeah, I yeah, don't yeah, want yeah. You to have them. And that uh, will be the end of my turn. Ooh, another spiked battle car. Dos Chicanes. That could potentially be fun. My core strategy is scrolls. I just have to figure out a way to actually generate and, and have scrolls. So far, none of the scrolls in my hand are working to create more scrolls, which some of them do. They chain into like duplicates or triplicates, depending on if you like have a win or a victory. And there's not really anything on the board that's gonna start generating scrolls for me either. So I'm just gonna have to wait and see what happens. This tower is pretty cool though. I mean, it lets me steal resources from West and considering he's been hoarding the wood and built a wood golem, which is one of the more powerful units in the game, uh, it's probably best that I go ahead and get access to some of the resources I don't have much of. Mm -hmm. All right, top of my turn, I'm gonna be rolling three dice this time. Kay. Ooh, double move and a resource collect. Kinda love that, mm -hmm. kinda love that. What's the attack and defense of your guy right there? Uh, he's a 9 attack and a 14 defense. Very 9 strong. attack and a 14 defense. Yeah, super strong. Mm. Okay. I would really like to be able to take him out. To eat? He does get hungry. I'd really like to be able to take Okay, here's what I'm going to do. Mm -hmm. I am going to go ahead and construct this tower really didn't want you to do that. Do you see what the tower does? Yeah, it just blocks spaces. Okay, nope. Tower's gonna go out here, right into this spot. Mm -hmm. This guy is going to be able to lumber forward by one space. Mm -hmm. The tower then is gonna provide me a brand new star ability. Mm -hmm. Star ability is going to let me to spend this mm -hmm. to steal a resource from a player. You want metal, right? And take a piece of your wood. That's so incredible. I'm going to do a collect action. Mm -hmm. And I'm going to pull back, oh, yeah, let's keep it as even across the board as possible. So metal and, or wood, uh, stone and wood. Okay. Uh, so I've got, I've got a pretty good split right now. I should be able to build most anything unless we get some of the custom characters out. Mm -hmm. And I have a fairly strong defense there. Now with my movement, I, do I want to try to jump forward and resolve an attack? I don't know that I'm in a great position to do that at the moment. I think I am going to move this to go ahead and step this guy down. Okay. And then I'm gonna spend another one to go ahead and, st I don't want him too vulnerable. I think vulnerable is a great place for him. I'm gonna send a chicken out instead. Yeah, I'm gonna send this little chicken right out to that spot. Cause that'll at least, that'll protect my leader a little bit. Mm -hmm. I've got to move, I've got to get to move my leader with a squadron. I don't know, I'm just, I'm scared of uh... everything. Yeah, I'm cowardly. That's fair. Okay, your turn. All right. Um... The leaders can do good against the other player. The problem is, is that once they're out there, they're also via, like they're, they're, they're the target. Yes. It's what people are hunting for. Got some really nice options here. Thinking about using them. Jesse took the tower that I wanted. All I want in life is a tower. I, I just wanted to block off this space because it, it looks like I've got two different tracks to get to my guy and I just need some protection time for me to build up power so that I can en masse run into his base. 
but he's he's actually pushing ahead very quickly. Uh, I don't really like that very much. I would really, 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 really like to salsa. So I need to build something, but I really wanted to build something salsa. when you were not in that space and didn't take what I wanted, mm -hmm. which is less good. Mm. <sighs> I feel bad for you? I don't think you really- Oh! I don't think you do. What? Mm. Um, I'm gonna build the rock soldier, because that sounds like fun. Along with a chicken. Rock soldier. Now, the rock soldier is beautiful, he's fabulous, and is very attentive to all of my needs. And he's on your side, apparently. Mm, there he is. Yes. Yes. Fabulous. Uh, so he'll go here. He also bans, which is something that we haven't seen yet. Uh, allows me to put... Banding allows you to things. group characters together. Um, it allows them to move more efficiently and then have like a troop of people on a single hex. Yeah. Okay. Uh, so now <coughs> I am going to... Move and attack. I feel like I really want to move. So, uh, first thing I'm going to do is go ahead and give the Rock Soldier an extra plus one. And then I'm going to give uh, my Golem a plus one as well. And I'm going to hold on to my move and attack. Interesting. Move or attack, technically. All right, rolling. Yes. Uh, plus three, plus one, plus two, and a move and attack. It's an interesting little hierarchy of dice here. Mm -hmm. uh, what would I actually be able to do with this? <clears throat> hmm. Now, can I move through my other characters? You can as long as you don't yeah. stop on them. So I would actually potentially be able to get to you. I'm going to start with a build action. I'm going to go ahead and build a metal soldier. Okay. It's going to take two metal. It's going to cluck him down mm -hmm. to that location. Uh, and one chicken. It's going to be going here. Ooh, okay. Whenever one of your chickens is destroyed, you may draw a scroll. I like that tower, Wes. It's a really nice tower. I like that tower. Hey, if you're enjoying this video, we do a whole series of these. This is our past 2 a.m. format. It takes more time, more work, more personality, but I think it's a little bit more fun to watch. If you agree, leave a comment down below, make sure you're subscribed, and let us know that you enjoy this type of content. Your support is legitimately the only way we can justify continuing to make these things happen. Uh, I'm then going to build a wood soldier because I'm going to play a scroll card, which allows me to take a extra free action this turn. Very nice. So the wood soldier is popping out here. He is going to be part of this troop so he's going to filter in on the top here. Then my leader. Where are they on the board? They're right here. Oh, put one of the minis on there so that it's not I just a chicken. I will. My leader. Do, do I have to move to band? Or is it just a free band action? You uh, can just crunch them together, can't you? Yes, they can crunch together. Oh, wait. I couldn't have built... Couldn't have built another one because I didn't have an open space. Correct. That's the issue. Yes. You have to build on an open space, which is why I was wondering about your monsters. <laughs> yeah. So then I did the... Did you want this whip it back? I did the wood one. Metal one's there. Wood is going into here. Mm. He's very shiny and pretty. I am... Banding this onto here, so this is that group is two. Okay. Which puts him up to eight. Mm -hmm. Puts him up to eight and thirteen. Not enough right now to take any of your people out. Correct. <clears throat> but it is about time to start pushing things forward. Mm -hmm. Eight, nine, ten. 11, 12, 13, 14. 14 could be potential. I'm gonna go ahead and do a move action. Like this. Okay. Now, I'm gonna move around the edge of the board uh, where the lava is. 
Reason being is one, because that scroll deck is not being cycled through fast and the odds of anything flipping are low. But two, it's kind of his weakest point. He's got the giant wood golem coming from the other direction and I right now, even with my turducken, I can't fight that thing. I'm not sure if Jesse noticed that his character is a ranged leader. Uh, he can actually attack from two spaces away, but he's not doing that. So I'm not really sure what he's doing, but I'm definitely not going to tell him that that is a possibility. Because I definitely want him to get closer so that I can do other things to him. Because if he stays two places away, I, I can't do anything to him. Let's hope he doesn't notice. I'm adding a plus one here. No, these plus, these plus, these don't trigger attacks, do they? They do not trigger attacks. They are temporary, so they'd yeah. be for one round. I need, need that. Yeah. So I needed to have played this to do the move. Okay. Then I am playing this to do the actual attack against your golem. My rock soldier? Yep, and okay. I am adding these to it. So I'm sitting currently, after all the math is done, okay. at a valuation of 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. Okay. And your uh, your defense is a My defense 11? is sitting at a 12. Is a 12. Okay. <clears throat> great. That's just great. I am playing one card for sure. And I'm playing another card for sure. Okay, I'll save these two. Okay, start revealing your cards. Uh, I have moved. Uh, this guy went, ha ha ha, just kidding. Not that guy anymore. Oh no. And what? we're going to put that guy there instead. Okay. So that's, that's the first one. I have teleport. Play this magic at the end of your turn. Oh, well, it didn't even need to be here. I'll still play it, though. Okay. Uh, place a unit into any other legal space. A lava space normally isn't legal. So, I think I get to move a unit. At the end of your turn, not during an attack. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> all I was going to do is I was going to set this there. Gotcha. That's all, that's, I wanted to teleport that to a place not adjacent to my that's fine. castle. So, use an actual card that will result in a battle change. Plus three defense. Fabulous. I have plus three defense as well. Okay, what does that leave you at? So that leaves me at eight or 17 defense. And I'm sitting at six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14 attack. So that we clash arms. We went, my, my guy just went, <sighs> Yeah, we, we clash arms and uh, that, is, that is all we do. Yep. Just disappointing. And here's the great thing, is that they go back after this is over. Oh, they switch? Yeah, they go right back. That's kind of funny. It's just the defender for this turn. Or this combat, yeah, excuse nice. me. Yeah, nice. Yep. Okay. Well, that's my action. It's a great action. I tried. I think you did a wonderful job. Thank um, you. Because my you had more than 10, right? Oh, wow. So much like, more than 10. Defense-wise, anyway. Yes. Okay, good. Wish I could have done more. Would have been great. All right, uh, my turn now, yeah? Mm -hmm. Fabulous. So good for Fabuloso. Uh, I really wish I could do more. I feel like I'm going to take this and roll it. That's way better. I love that for me. <laughs> okay. Uh, I'm going to move. And then... I'm going to use this as an attack. Okay. This was plus three. Against my spiked car? Against your spiked car. Spiked car is currently sitting at no, at 14 defense. Great. I'm currently sitting at 16 attack. Okay. I have no cards to play. Wonderful. I have no cards to play either. All right, I'm going to be destroyed. Beautiful. Gives me a nice little inroad there. Which is fine, because I kind of want my die back anyway. <laughs> For the next things that I'm going. And my next trick is... That's <laughs> your turn? That is my turn, yes. All right. Plus three, plus three. Chicken cluck cluck. All right, I'm going to add that down here to this guy. Okay. 
Uh, actually, I'm gonna add it. No, it doesn't matter, because they're banded together right now. I'm gonna spend this move to go ahead and band this chicken onto here. Okay. No, 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 sorry. I'm gonna spend my free move to band that chicken onto there. All right, fine. If I can't get scrolls, the next best thing is stacking units, one on top of another and marching them to West's gate. I, I think that was his strategy, but I'm open to it. Okay. I'm then going to go ahead and resolve and attack with my uh, wood soldier here. Okay. And that is going to be a total of 6, 12, 14, 16, 18 damage coming your direction. That is less good. It's a healthy amount of damage. So I've now got what you call in this game a turducken. It's a chicken on a chicken on a chicken on a duck. No turkeys involved. It's weird. I know terminology is an odd thing. So it's less good. Yeah. So congratulations. You you got that. Awesome. Um, yeah. That's that's uh, amazing. Less good. Mm -hmm. Less good. All right. So he'll come off, and my poor little chicken is dead. He was a nice chicken. We've both got powerhouses marching towards the other person's fort. Yeah, except your guy is over there on top of those people. Yes. Just again, less good for me. He is. Okay. I am a little backed into a corner right now. Uh, there is a giant uh, totem pole of chicken th wood leader feathery mess coming at me, and I don't know what I'm gonna do, frankly. I'm just throwing stuff in front of it like a meat shield and hopes for the best. Man, I hope something crazy happens. Uh, otherwise, I'm probably gonna lose real quick. Uh, I'm gonna take off these now because they're done. Let's see what happens here. Ooh, recover and plus. Wonderful. Um, hmm. Okay. What is the best course of action here? I need to throw things in your way. That's definitely the best thing I can do. Let's be rude. But I have a pile of death marching to your doorstep, West. You do. You, you do. Uh, so the first thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to build. You're putting uh, the tower down? A beautiful tower. It's a glorious, beautiful tower. I wanted the tower. Right there. I like this tower. Yep. 15 health, though. Why are you putting it over there? No. Oh, it's my it's tower. it's going to be destroyed next turn. No, it won't. Don't say bad things about my beautiful <laughs> it's tower. dead. One, and metal, and stone. Glorious. Uh, whenever one of my chickens is destroyed, I can draw a scroll. Mm -hmm. Beautiful concept. I, I really like it. It's really good. Sadly, um, you, you think it is? The, the no. tower's going to crumble. I don't know. We'll Almost. See. Immediately. Um, we're going to do that. And then I'm going to recover some things because reasons. Okay. So I got a metal and a stone back, which is glorious. And what does your tower do over there? Um, my tower is allowing me to steal a resource from you if I have a star, which I haven't really needed to use. Yeah. But it's nice to have. Mm -hmm. It's how we got that. Uh, you did use it point. once, yeah. yeah, which was very frustrating. Uh, so I think I'm gonna go ahead and do an extra move action here. He moves one space, unfortunately. Okay. So I'll spend that dice to do that. And that, sir, it's your turn. will be almost my turn because I am going to use this poisonous frog and I'm gonna destroy one of my chickens. Okay. Uh, he licked a poisonous frog, yeah. but in finding said poisonous frog, he did manage to grab two scrolls before he nice. died. So, wait. Oh, Jesse. Hmm. This is a very bad day for you, sir. Hmm. Ooh. So that particular thing there means it's an earthquake. So I, uh, all of these tiles are going to flip over. Uh-huh, love that. Yeah. Uh, which means you are currently <laughs> on a lava tile. <laughs> so that is, that is less good for you. <laughs> but it was a it was a convenient pathway around West. It was, yes. Uh, and then I can move any chicken one hex. 
So that means I'm going to uh -huh. go here. Now, here's the problem with what yes. just happened to me. Yeah. Uh, my wood soldier uh -huh. fell into the lava tile. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, the two chickens here also happen to have fallen into the lava tile. Correct. And your leader does have the ability to get out. So he has to go to an open hex to get out. Yes. So, and he doesn't die because there is a way that your leader can die because technically they just get humiliated on a regular basis. But if they could die, if this were actually surrounded and there were no place for him to come out. So yeah, the, the issue is, is that I'm going to go right there. That's a great spot for Hopping you. from lava to lava. It's a great spot for you. I really like that. Uh, so technically you had to get off of the lava first. So I'm not going to be here. I'm going to go ahead and stay here where I was before. And then I'm going to go ahead and do this and move uh, as my move action these banded people together. Okay. No, you have to be kidding me. Lava? Oh, come on. And it wasn't just like a single unit. It is a whole platter cast of chickens just smothered themselves underneath the ash. Only my leader escaped. I imagine from hopping on the backs of each one of the drowning, burning, fiery chickens. This is bad. This is a bad spot to be in. And now I'm surrounded. I cannot believe I pulled that earthquake card. Did, did you see that? The land opens up and forth comes lava and his entire group just epically fell into the crusted mess and I was saved. It's as, as if divine energy came down and said, smoke to you, sir. That was awesome. I just only wish there was a way that his leader could have also died in the lava so that he'd have to use his secondary character because I'm still a little worried about the whole range thing, which he still hasn't figured out yet. But again, I'm not saying anything. All right, my turn. It is your turn, yes. I rolled those. Now I gotta re-roll these, because nonsense. All right, well, let's see what I'm able to do. First off, I'm gonna go ahead and recover two chickens. Okay. Good plan. I'm in a vulnerable position. <laughs> you, you are. Um, awkward. Mm -hmm. I am going to go ahead and draw a scroll card. Okay. And I'm so glad you did that, Jesse, because when you do that, I get to draw two scroll cards um, because you drew one. So, again, so thankful. I actually did, th I thought of you. You you were incredibly thoughtful yeah. during that time. West has me cornered on every single side. My only hope is, is going to be a scroll card. And the good news is the card I just drew Let's just say, it's gonna go out with a bang. I don't love uh, where my chicken is. <laughs> and I'm not sure. <laughs> I mean, I could I could just go out with spite though. You could attempt it, yes. I, like that might just be the thing that needs to happen. Yeah. I'm going to, I don't have an attack die. Yeah, I'm gonna have to use my action, mm -hmm. my free action, as the attack. Okay. So I'm gonna have plus three when attacking your leader. Oh, nice. Okay. So five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve is what I'm currently sitting at. Okay. Okay. Gauging combat with your leader. All right, I'm passing. <clears throat> okay, I'm gonna play down a scroll card. Okay, I'm gonna play down a scroll card. Okay. My turn? Uh, yeah. No scroll cards. Okay, I'm gonna play down another scroll card. Yep, yep, yep. Okay, and then uh, I'm gonna let her go there. Okay, I played. Uh, my chicken is gonna get plus four strength and then it's gonna blow up. <laughs> I don't think you can do that to your leader. I can do that to my you leader. You can do it to your leader? An attacking unit gets plus four strength this combat, then it destroys it. 
Now, I'm not entirely sure that's how this mechanic works, but I'm not going to tell Wes that I don't know, because a rules check here could not allow me to do what I want, and what I want to do is to blow myself up before he gets to attack me. Seems like the only reasonable option. And sure, I get a backup chicken. I mean, that's what they give them for, right? I don't believe the idea of the scrolls is to destroy yourself. But man, it's really funny. <laughs> like, if you're gonna go out in a blaze of chicken death glory, that's the way to do it. And that also means he's gonna have to choose his second legendary character to be his new boss. So I, I think that's really cool. Let's see what happens. I'm excited. I'm stealing the victory from you. You're not stealing the victory. There is something that will happen, but we're, we're good. I am stealing your victory. You potentially are. Uh, I actually am playing two strategies. So my battle cars and cannons will get plus one armor and strength for each uh, in battle, which right now I don't have any, but just in case I do. And then trenches, uh, my soldiers get plus one armor and my chickens gain plus Wait, two armor. Wait, I should have assigned that to your chicken. You could have, yes, but you're, I'm not attacking. Uh, you're defending. Yeah. I hear. Mm -hmm. Okay. So, um, I believe my chickens, does the leader qualify as a chicken? I'd say so. Yeah? So then he gets plus two armor, so that brings him up to 13. Okay. Uh, I'm destroying you. Yeah? And me. Yeah. And me. Mm -hmm. But definitely destroying you, too, in the process. When things don't go your way, make sure your enemies suffer with you. Yes, sir. All right. So That was um, the worst time for lava to drop on my head. It was an amazing time for lava. Ugh. I think that's what this game is so good at, is those really weird, like, okay, how did... I can't believe this is happening. Uh, so, okay. Uh... You defeat me once. Yeah. Great job. Yeah. Uh, you're gonna get to put one of your pieces up here, and then you get destroyed. No, you actually have two of these. You don't. You don't get that. Why not? That's if I defeat you. No, you just get to put one on my no. thing. So saying. But didn't my didn't my chicken drowning in lava lava give you one? No. No. Mm. -mm. You don't. That doesn't count. Doesn't count for me. Really? Yep. Unfortunately. So you're saying I'm winning? Sort of. <laughs> oh! But now you die. Yeah. Which is great. So that's fine. That card goes away, and now you use your backup one. Now, if he dies, you're in a lot of trouble. <clears throat> I have Plucky. Now I need to find him. Did you know in this game your backup chicken's called a baker's dozen? It's the same reason why when they mail you 12 eggs, one extra one shows up in the box. It's a baker's dozen, it's one extra. Just in case you decide to sit on and hatch any of your little brood, the odds are one of them is going to be dumb, and you'll have to murder it. Then you'll still have 12 chickens. He's adorable, and he has a spear. Here. He looks like a cat. All right. A chicken cat. He's a chicken cat. So he's going to... Pops back over there, yep. Pops back on here. I have sacrificed Roast Anator C... <laughs> 800 to yes. get a hit against you. You did. Yep. It was quite... Quite the interesting thing. And Plucky here. Plucky's strength is equal to the defender's strength. Uh, two stars. Any chicken gets five plus strength this combat, even not yours. So I could just help another. Like we we're playing four players. Mm -hmm. I could be like, "Hey, you want you want five five plus combat? That'd yep. be great." That's that's one of the fun things. <clears throat> Technically, you could have done that for like if we we're playing three players mm -hmm. and I was attacking someone. You could be like, "Hey, I'm helping you out," mm -hmm. and then you die. Mm -hmm. <laughs> because I don't want you to attack me next. No, but I didn't want to do that. That was cool. I wanted it on myself. Yes. All right. So, fun times, fun times. Uh, roll some dice here. Uh, another star and a plus three. Okay, 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 okay. Um, man, I really wanted to get a little closer to you. That's very frustrating. So, I, I'm going to move this guy here, and I'm going to put mm -hmm. a plus three on him for the rest of this turn. Okay. Um, <clears throat> Seems ominous. Yeah. And then I'm going to use two dice to draw another scroll in hopes that something great happens.
we'll we'll call that good from there. My turn? It is your turn, yes sir. Uh, plus one, plus two, plus two, and star and star. <laughs> it's kind of awesome. <laughs> it's kind of awesome. So, I just don't have an attack, but you're right there. Mm -hmm. Okay, plus two, plus two. Okay. Plus one permanently. Okay. My strength is equal to the defender's strength. What's your strength? My strength currently is 13. <clears throat> wow. I also happen to be worth 13. That's great. Um, we would kill each other if we fought. Yes. I'd rather you not be able to kill me. Mm, not as good. <laughs> How do I prevent you from being a bad person? <laughs> what if the wood golem is, there's only like, the reason why it only moves one space is because one chicken is moving one leg and the other chicken is moving one arm, so they can only operate two things at a time? <laughs> why does silly stuff like that make me laugh? Simple, simple minds. Man, I'm actually not in a great position right now. I disagree, I think you're in a fabulous spot. You're not dying of lava, which I think is a way better situation than you were in before. Yeah, I do hear what you're saying. I do, I do hear what you're saying. <sighs> you could try to run away. I think I'm just gonna install this here. Okay. And then I think I'm gonna do a build action. Okay. And I'm gonna go ahead and spend some metal okay. to grab this mech. Okay. So chicken's gonna pop down underneath him. Great plan. And my boss is gonna be there, and if you attack my boss, you're going to be destroying your own unit. I'm okay with that. Because if I attacked you, I would be doing the same exact thing, so <laughs> I might as well make it so that you have to do it. Oh! Oh, wow. The Mecha Chicken Dragon? Yes, absolutely. I mean, I'll take three, please. Mecha Chicken? Really? Mecha Chicken? I, I didn't, There's like 65, 70 cards in this deck. I never thought we'd see Mecha Chicken because there's only one of them and it's so cool, but you have to have three of each individual resource to do it, and I don't have three of each individual resource to do it. So, of course, what, I, I don't even have a way to get more back. And, and even if I did get them all back, I wouldn't be able to build it fast enough. Jesse better not build that thing. Oh, wow. I'm rolling all my dice. <laughs> no! You got no recovery. No! Oh, this could be big. No! This could be big. Okay, what do you currently have? Okay, there. So I can still recover two things. If I recover both of the metal, you can't wrong build it. What? Oh, you can steal a resource. And I have star. two stars. <sighs> <laughs> that is awful. He's so good. He's so good. Why can we not? The Mecha Chicken Dragon might come out to play. I think I'm going to be able to build the Mecha Chicken Dragon, which is the most epic unit in this entire game. The only question is if I can survive long enough to actually crush West with it in the process. All right, I'm attacking your guy, because whatever. Mine? Actually, you know what? If I don't attack him, you can't build anything. Wrong. What are you, how are you gonna build something? Oh, I'll figure it out. <laughs> okay, I'm not going to attack him. Okay. <sighs> Definitely a poor choice on your end. Just letting you know that. It is a very poor choice on my end. But I really want to. Ugh, okay. Um.
Does that thing on you say your your uh, your strength is equal to the defender's strength? Mm -hmm. No, it says attack. Plucky strength is equal to the defender's strength. What if you're being attacked? Uh, because then you're not the defender. No idea. Then you have zero. I don't think so. Maybe you only have what's up here. That wouldn't make sense. But he's plucky. I don't know. Hmm. Could be anywhere. We're, we have already ruled Several attack and defense are different. Attack and yeah. defense could be the same, mm -hmm. but that's not how we're playing at the moment, so. Yes. Okay, so let's go. Uh, uh, I really want that mecha chicken, and I can't get it. It's really going to bother me. All right, um, I am going to. Because the problem is, if I strengthen my guy, all it does is strengthen your guy. Mm -hmm. Which is really lame. Alright, I'm going to do it anyway, I don't care. Uh, so I'm going to use this attack action as the attack for that. So I know that I'll kill him anyway, because currently... Do you have any scrolls? No. Okay. I'm going to use one plus two on him. So he will have 11 strength. It's enough to take me out. Yep. Now his character is stuck at his base, and I've got a really strong wood golem right there to just beat on him a couple of times. Hopefully I can make this happen. We'll see. It should be great. That was that action. And then I'm going to build something. Do I want to build something? No, I'm going to take a retrieve action. It's fine. Retrieve action it is. Retrieve action and a move. Here we go. This is Retrieving stupid. two wood. Spending this to steal your two metal. You get two? Oh, yeah. And you're not even going to take them from the pile. You're just going to straight up steal them. Yep. Love it. Those are going there. Love then, it. I'm gonna go ahead and do a move action uh -huh. to shift this guy up. Great. And I'm going to go ahead and do... Technically that guy moves two spaces if you want. And I'm gonna go ahead and do a free build action to make myself a mecha chicken that I'm immediately attaching a more powerful dice to. I cannot believe it. Of course. Of course Jesse builds it. And not only does he build it, he also steals from me do build it. The good news is, because I've already defeated him once, all I have to do is hit him one more time, and he's gonna die. And then his mecha chicken will be for naught. And I'll be very happy. Three of these. Mecha chicken is here. <sighs> 10 strength. He looks so cool. 18 health. I hate it. Very powerful. I list. hate it immensely, but I love it all at the same time. Cool. That's my turn. Okay. Feel good about that. Yeah. Oh, there's another wood soldier you could build. Great. That's lovely. So lovely. Wonderful and things. So great <laughs> with the things. Uh, the good news is I'm going to attack your guy again. Yeah. I wasn't able to fix that problem. <laughs> <laughs> uh, mm -hmm. Yeah. 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 Yeah, that's the... So it's kind of anticlimactic when you build Mecha Chicken and then... You die. Uh, well, not quite dead, though. Not quite dead? I'm not, I haven't quite lost. You only have to have two, and that's in game. What? Yeah, you die twice, and oh. that's in game. <laughs> Epic wins as usual. See, clarity of mind and strength of character and pink flamingos in general will generally win on a regular basis. All you have to do is have faith, not be super skittish. And, uh, and you can come out on top on an average game uh, playing, you know, uh, pretty much anything. This is a beyond average game for sure, but man, you got to see a lot of unique mechanics in this, that's for sure. But as usual, in the past 2AM series, I have prevailed. Uh, I'd like to thank the Academy 
I would like to thank all of our uh, sponsor dogs who are here on a regular basis. Uh, Asher is just absolutely adorable and she was sitting on my feet the entire time. Her effort to keep my toes warm in the studio really paid off for me in the long run and I think it, if it hadn't have been for her, this whole game would have been for naught. Uh, I, I definitely want to throw it up to her. She did a great job today. I technically died four times. You, you did die four times, yes. I would... Three times, right? <laughs> and like Wes said, that was uh, anticlimactic for me. I, I don't know how you feel about it. Wes seems thrilled, very excited, joyous, I'd even put. And honestly, what is a good friendship if not sacrifice for the sake of the person you're playing games with? Uh, little does he know, all I ever wanted in life was to utilize the Mecha Chicken Dragon and rip apart my enemies. And he's taken that from me. It's a bittersweet ending, and uh, yeah, there's plenty of things I could have done differently. I didn't do them. Instead, I went through the process of burning in a fazery, fa fiery chasm of lava, sacrificing my own chicken to the brutal destruction of improbable explosions, and then focused my capital's resources on building a giant steel mechanoid dragon while my leader stood out on the front patio and watched the construction, ignoring the fact that there was a giant wooden golem reaching for him. Did not go well. But I do like this game. Mecha Chicken goes on a rampage. <laughs> I'm spending... This is a total of... 15 attack Ugh, against you. That was amazing, and I would have just barely died. Good job. Yay! Well done. Well done. <laughs> hey, hopefully you've enjoyed this. I honestly, like, this was such a good refresher for where and how this game just works. It's funny, it's quippy, it's punny, it's got incredible miniatures, fantastic artwork, simple and accessible mechanics, and I just had a blast but I really want to get a three or four player game uh, here onto the channel as well, because that starts showing off chaos. In those higher player counts, you actually have to take out other players' bosses. You can't just gang up on one single character, which means those things that allow you to be cooperative or work with someone, well, that's only lasting until you've taken out the enemy that you initially faced, because your friends have to become your victims. Just like in real life. That got dark. Man! My sacrifice was worth it. Your sacrifice was worth the it. The fact that this guy is kind of puny mm -hmm. and was already trapped there with your... Because uh, he's really a defense character. Yeah. The two-star system allows him to actually buff people without needing to be in the combat. Right. Whereas my other guy buffs specifically by being in the combat. Correct. You see? So the fact that your guy was just standing out here outside my doorway and he was like, Hello! <laughs> yeah. Two chickens massively going, Get in there! Come on! <laughs> I would like to pet you, please. <laughs> this dragon, if I'd been able to build this dragon one turn earlier, it though... It would have been ridiculous. I, like, if you had not got that successful first attack, ridiculous. I would have ripped through you and yep. then just soared my way over You to would have, yes. Leader. I can't believe that came up just like that. I, I desperately want to play this game like four players. Yes, me too. Um, I think it'd be I, amazing. Yeah, I. it's been a long time since I've like opened this up and got this to the table, but this reminds me just how charming and how cute it is. Yeah, so. love the minis Sweet. on the board. It looks so good. And look, like the powers, the abilities, the way they think stack together, it's not a complicated game, but yeah. it still has absolutely some choice and decision in it. Yep. I don't know, very cute. Thank you for watching. Hopefully you've enjoyed this. This is the nonsense we do here on the channel. So stay tuned. See you later.